It is officially fall time, which means no baked desserts at my house. Hi guys, I'm Kristen from Six Sister Stuff. I love teaching you guys how to cook easy, simple dinners, but sometimes after I've cooked dinner, I don't wanna spend more time in the kitchen and make a dessert. So I love no-bake desserts for that reason. They're usually fast, quick, and easy. So today I'm sharing with you three of some of my favorite no-bake desserts. Let's just jump right in. The first recipe I'm making is called Lemon Icebox Cake. All right, the first thing we're gonna add is lemon instant pudding. It has to be lemon because it just tastes good. I'm gonna dump in two 3.4 ounces of our instant lemon jello. Next, we're gonna add three cups of milk to make it into pudding. Then you're just gonna mix this all together. Okay, next we're gonna add a whole container of Cool Whip. Now, this is not a healthy recipe, but it sure does taste good. Besides, calories don't really count when you're pregnant, right? Okay, and then you're just going to gently fold this in. Then you're just gonna stick this in the fridge to let it thicken up a little bit. So now it's time for the graham crackers. We're gonna put these in the bottom of our nine by 13 pan. Now you want to cover every single little space. And it's okay if you have to break some in half, it doesn't matter, we just want to fill it all up. So now the pudding is set up pretty well, like it will be fine. And we're gonna put half of this on top of the graham crackers. Now I'm not gonna do exactly half because we are eyeballing today. So the goal is to try and leave the graham crackers where they are, we don't wanna move them around. Now we're gonna add another graham cracker layer. Now our pan kind of goes outward, so we will have to add some more in these other little cracks. Then you're just gonna add the last of the pudding on top. Then just spread it all out as evenly as you can. Then we just have our last layer of graham crackers. All right, now we need a lemon frosting to go on top. So we're gonna have a half cup of butter. I melted mine a lot because it just makes it easier for everyone if it's a little melty. Then we have one and a half cups of powdered sugar and then two tablespoons of lemon juice. And you can use fresh lemons if you want to, but I am cheating today because we're gonna pull the pea card. I can cheat because I'm pregnant, so. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> and then just two tablespoons of milk. And we're gonna beat this all together. All right, now it's just time to put on the frosting. But our other eclair cake, we use canned, but this is the good stuff. All right, and then just spread it all around. All right, looking good here. Okay, now we're gonna stick it in the fridge. It's best if you do it for like two to three hours to let those graham crackers get a little soggy. Well, I pulled it out to rate it, and I just wanna show you what it looks like now. Needless to say, I think my family is rating this a five. We loved it. All right, next up is our five ingredient s'mores bars. You're gonna start by turning your stove top to just medium heat. Then when your pot is ready, you're gonna add two cups of mini marshmallows and one cup of chocolate chips, and then mix it until it's all combined. Just keep mixing, they will melt together. And then you're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Don't forget this part. This will make it nice and smooth. All right, this is looking much better. Nice and gooey and smooth. Now it's time for the golden grams. We need three cups. Then just carefully and slowly mix it all together. These golden grams are considered our, you know, graham cracker. So we have to be able to see the marshmallows and chocolate. So. We need one more cup of marshmallows and then a half a cup of chocolate chips. Mix those all together. We don't wanna melt those, we just wanna mix them. All right, make sure you spray a nine by nine pan with cooking spray. I actually am out of pans, so we're using the flour cooking spray. It will still do the same job. And you're just going to pour it all in. It's like Rice Krispie Treats, but chocolate, but s'mores, even better. Then we're just gonna pat it into place. Now it's time to just let them cool and they'll harden right up. Okay, time for the taste test. Now, you'll see there's a few extra marshmallows. Before it cooled all the way, I put some extra marshmallows and flattened them down. Just to make it better. All right, here we go. Mmm, those remind me growing up. They are good. I'm gonna rate this one a five. Next up is our Mississippi mud pie. Best part about it, it only takes a few minutes to throw together. 
I'm first gonna start by making an Oreo crust. Now, you can buy it already made or you can make it yourself. So, if you're gonna make it yourself, make sure you open up the Oreos. You're gonna use a whole package of Oreos and scrape out all the middles. All right, once you get out all the middles, your Oreos are ready to go. Now, if you want to keep the middles, this is my most favorite part of the Oreo. I might snack on this later. Next, it's time to crush up your Oreos. You can crush them this way, or you can use a blender to blend them up. I like to crush them because the mess is really easy to clean. Now this recipe kind of makes a lot, so you have a few options. You can put it in the bottom of a nine by 13 pan and make a really big pie, or you can use two pie pans. I'm actually gonna use three small springform pans so I can make a few and then I'm gonna actually go deliver it to neighbors so I don't eat all the treats. <laughs> so in the bottom of my pan, I'm gonna add just a third of my Oreos. And then you melted a half a cup of butter. So again, I'm just gonna kinda eyeball. I'm gonna add a third of this in. All right, then combine your Oreo with your butter, and then you're gonna press it really hard to the bottom of your pan, no matter what pan it is. All right, once it's pretty mixed, I'm actually just gonna use my hand and just press it down. Next, you're gonna take a half gallon of ice cream. Now, obviously, I'm gonna cut that into thirds because it would be a lot. And I let it sit out for about 30 minutes, then it's nice and soft and easy to maneuver. That's how we want it. So I'm gonna put about a third of this in there. There we go, I like ice cream. And then just gently press it down. Oop, I pulled up some Oreos. Try hard not to do that. Try and get all the ice cream down first and then gently start spreading around. It's coming and the melted ice cream will actually melt um, a little bit into the cracks of the Oreo, so it'll all combine so well together. Okay, we're gonna freeze this for about an hour or so. After it's set up for just a little bit, you're gonna have 12 ounces of hot fudge that yes, we heat it up and it is toasty hot. And you're just gonna gently put over the ice cream. Just wanna make sure you have hot fudge on every bite because that's what makes it good. <laughs> all right, hot fudge is starting to stiffen. This is how we like it. Perfect, okay. Then we are gonna stick this in the freezer for about six to eight hours. Now for my favorite part, you're gonna add about one container of Cool Whip. Now remember, I split, split this into thirds, so I'm just using about a third of the container. Now we're gonna add some hot fudge. Now if you want chocolate syrup, you can do that too. But I like hot fudge. I am trying my best to spread this. It is not gonna be the prettiest, but just close your eyes, pretend it is. And then I crushed up about six more Oreos. Well, about three more or so, and we're just gonna put it just on the top. So it can cover up your really bad <laughs> fudge drizzle. Just kidding. Now we're gonna stick this in the freezer so everything will be nice and frozen when it's time to cut. All right, we got a good taste tester here. You ready? Okay, try a bite. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, so good. Do you give it a five? A five, winning. <laughs> all right guys, I'll see you all next time, bye.